Yeah. As beautiful as ever. Beautiful as ever. It's a great reason if you're ever if you're ever in New York and want to come to the show, I'm okay. This is a reason to come to the Ed Sullivan oh, Theater right on. here. <laughs> yeah. Now, another reason, another reason to come to the Ed Sullivan is to see our guest in person tonight. We have Taraji P. Henson will be right here. Join yeah. us. And then I'll be giving the Colbert questionnaire to Jake Gyllenhaal right over there, sitting in that chair. He's got a new book, The Secret Society of Ants and Uncles. It's in stores now, just at my reading level. And uh, musical guest Jason Isbell will be here this evening. It's packed. It's packed like peanuts in a Snickers bar, my friend. Folks, uh, if, if you watch the show, and I hope you do, I spend most of my time right over there carefully plotting the day's biggest news onto the most topical story graph, factoring in the parameter space of quadratic polynomials and creating the set of values of C defined in a complex plane for which one function does not diverge to infinity when iterated, but a second sequence remains bounded in absolute unit to present to you the beautiful and endlessly fractalated Mandelbrot set that is my monologue. But sometimes, just, just, just sometimes, folks, while well, Throwing bricks through the windows of an abandoned orphanage, a stray donkey kicks me in the face to create the explosion of head trauma-induced eyeball sparkles of news that make up my segments. Meanwhile... That's it. It's an antibiotic and a pleasure. Meanwhile... An Ohio attorney has been suspended after pooping in a Pringles can and throwing it from his car. Great! Now none of us can trust a can of free, discarded roadside Pringles. <laughs> when asked for an explanation, the now suspended attorney claimed he simply had a habit of putting his feces in the containers and randomly tossing them from his vehicle as a prank. How is that a prank? <laughs> hey, pull my finger. Ha ha, I just pooped in that can of Pringles. <laughs> And this was a long-running, let's say, joke. <laughs> it is estimated that he did this at least 10 times a year. <laughs> well, you know what they say, once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Norway, a thousand-year-old coin with the depiction of Jesus was unearthed. Apparently, the coin originated in Constantinople, and some historians are speculating that it made its way to Norway because it belonged to former king of Norway, Harald the Ruthless which is a lot more intimidating than his original nickname, Harold the Coin Collector. <laughs> Famed for his blood-curdling battle cry, I also like stamps! <laughs> Meanwhile, sandwich chain Subway has announced a new menu item, a foot-long chocolate chip cookie. Ah, uh, my favorite dessert flavor, length. <laughs> The company rolled out the new dessert with a special promotion for National Cookie Day, saying, the best news yet is that the cookie will be free with the purchase of any foot-long sub. Though it's not hard to be the best news yet when the only other news is we're eating at Subway. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm still trying to recover from that whole poop in a Pringles can thing. <laughs> I'm really just trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to shake that one off. We don't make the news, folks. <laughs> Meanwhile, news from Sesame Street, the secret recipe behind Cookie Monster's cookies has been revealed. A staffer says they're kind of like a dog treat, revealing they're made from pancake mix, puffed rice, grape nuts, instant coffee, and colored glue. <laughs> Same recipe as Subway. <laughs> we'll be right back with Taraji P.